Andy, the time has come. We toys are sick and tired of how you use us and then toss us aside. So prepare for a mutiny as I, Huggy Bear, claim the title of Toy Commander. Yes. Welcome, guys. Welcome to Let's Replay Toy Commander. Oh, man. Let's go. It has been a long time since I've played this game. Oh. There we go. We just go with tight. <laughs> yeah, sure. That's fine. Uh, here we go, guys. My God. Toy Commander. One of my favorite games of all time from one of my favorite consoles of all time. Now, we played this way, way back when on my uh, original Dreamcast system. Uh, we had a lot of issues with this game as well, but we don't have to be hampered by real hardware anymore. We don't have to put up with the terrible Dreamcast control pad anymore. I'm running this with a series uh, Xbox control pad and fuck me, this thing is so much better than having to fumble and struggle with a Dreamcast control pad. As much as I love the system, the Dreamcast controller is a piece of shit and can happily stay in the past. Uh, I have got the Retro Fighters remade control pad. Uh, they brought out a new Dreamcast controller uh, last year, and it's better than the original Dreamcast controller in every single way, but it still pales in comparison to the perfection that is the Xbox Series controller. So, not only are we playing this with a better controller this time, we're playing this uh, up resed to 4K. Uh, obviously, we're only going to be playing this in 1080p because I don't upload videos in 4K because my shitty internet connection can barely at the best of times handle 1080p but i am so hyped to bring back toy commander and over the years uh, i have been requested to redo this when i started redoing let's plays uh from my uh, earlier years on youtube i've been doing this for nine years now nine years so i think it's time we're going to be seeing a lot of old classics come back on this channel new games as, as well of course we're going to keep the new games going as well but of course every now and again we're going to dip into an old classic so without any further bullshit let's go into one player we're going to go to the kitchen and dining room this is also i believe the first ever dreamcast game that i ever played uh when i was a kid I was so hyped for the Dreamcast. I came, um, I had a PlayStation 1, and when that thing was kind of at the end of its days, I moved over to PC gaming. And then I sold it, I believe, for a Dreamcast. Um, and I, my dad got it. My, no, my mum and my dad got me the Dreamcast for uh, when it first came out for a birthday. And I remember I sold my PlayStation, I believe, to buy some extra games. And that Christmas, Christmas of 2000, um, no, Christmas of 99, I should say, when, uh, you know, that was such an exciting time as a kid, you know, going into Toys R Us and stuff like that. And I remember seeing the Dreamcast set up and uh, I had to go on the demo booth. And what did I play? I played Toy Commander and it blew my mind. This is such an underrated gem. And I can say on this emulator, it looks incredible. Anyway, let's go. So we've got training. And we've got boiled eggs or boiling range um, on the the right there it actually tells us the vehicles that we have we also have a boss time limit to beat uh, beating uh, the boss time gets you um, I don't think you have to beat the boss times it's just like a personal challenge we will be beating the boss times on every level because anything less than perfect is failure anyway let's go training i am cyclone and i am the boss of the kitchen each room in this house has its own boss if you can beat our records in at least four missions ah so you have to beat their records in at least four missions you'll be tested against us if you defeat us we will become your allies then you can pilot us in the final duel against the toy commander land the plane on the runway then use the helicopter to drop two sugar lumps into the uh, cup of hot coca finally 
use the pickup truck to find the chocolate bar. Oh my god, it feels good to be back. Look at it, the music. It looks freaking unbelievable in this emulator as well. Oh my good god. Right, anyway, let's go. Let's land the plane. Ah, the controller. The controller makes all the difference. Listen to that music, man. This game is such a product of its time. It really is. Now, this game never actually controlled perfectly to start with. Well, it did. It controlled well enough. But that controller, man, that never helped anybody. Anyway, let's touch down on the plane. And now we can... Oh, God. <laughs> Switch over to the helicopter. Grab these sugar lumps. I love the way this is like a cat turd. Just chilling in the cat litter box. It's just... This game for the time seemed so unbelievably detailed. It was something rather special. And it was truly, you know, just like a little glimpse of what was to come with future consoles. And the Dreamcast itself. Unfortunately, the Dreamcast, well, she never had a chance. But that's cool. Her memory lives on. And uh, I have some of my best ever memories. Uh, I did consider just waiting and getting a, a nice, fully doled up Dreamcast uh, with like the HDMI and all that kind of stuff. But those things run you... Why are we now going backwards? Okay, we're, we're having some difficulties here for some reason. Um, yeah, so I did consider doing all of that. But the only trouble with that, uh, a fully modded Dreamcast these days is going to run you about four, five hundred pounds. Uh, and, you know, honestly, it's not worth it when you can just use the Redream emulator, which is almost perfect. Not bad. That was our first shot. Look how good the textures look. Um, yeah, so we don't care what he has to say because we're going to go do that and we're going to kick his ass. Right, let's try that once more feeling, boys and girls and anybody in between. Right. Let's try that again. Now, this might be a slightly shorter video this time round, just because this is a test. I do want to see how this emulator handles this game, because I haven't tested it. Uh, you know, I should have, but time's one of those things that when I originally played this game, I had an infinite amount. You know, that was back when we had those endless summers, you know, summer holidays. You remember those, don't you? The, the, the summers that you thought would last forever. Uh, they don't, kids. They don't. Because eventually, you're an old man like me. But anyway, we still have these old memories to get back to. So, you know, everybody's a winner or something positive. Yes, let's go with something positive. Uh, life isn't just misery and pain. Now, there we go. That's what you call skull fucking the boss. <laughs> he says with the most confidence. <laughs> uh, yeah, welcome to Toy Commander. It is jank. It is jank. Uh, lots of jank is going to be had. But lots of fun is also going to be had along the way. Okay. And I love the vehicles in this game as well. They're so well modeled. And they're just, again, what's that word that we like to use with video games? They're just really fun. I think we're going to lose again. Yeah, we're going to lose again. Who's getting skull fucked? I think we are. That's no good. Right, at least we can see what the boss says this time. What does he say? A successful training mission. Easy. Yes. But if you wish to fight me in the end, you'll need to beat my record at least four times. Why not start now? Yeah, all right, dude. Now, one thing I can also say about this emulator is the loading. The loading is non-existent, uh, which is pretty cool. Everything's just fast and snappy, which I like. But then I, I do have an entire SSD on my computer that is just for emulators, you know. And uh, that definitely does seem to be something that these emulators get a little bit out of, you know? The only reason I use a, an entire emulator, to, uh, uh, an entire SSD to start off with, is just because I had a spare one. So I thought, I know, I'm just going to load it up with me ROMs and my emulators. And it does seem to pay off. 
But this game looks absolutely fantastic. And I think that's actually going to help on some later levels where you have to pick out enemy targets. There's one level in particular that I'm thinking of. You know the one. That works. Um, where the enemies are actually pretty bloody hard to see. Mainly because, you know, the Dreamcast was playing this at 640 by 480. Whereas now, we're rendering at some disgustingly high resolution. There we go. That's the boss done. So, yeah, okay, we beat him by a good solid 29 seconds. Just look at you, already gloating, just because you managed to do one measly training mission in record time. Yeah, well, this is just the start, my friend. This is just the start. You've managed thus far, but you're nothing unless you can cook. Drop the eggs into the water and don't forget to light the stove. Indeed. So this level is, eh, I wouldn't say it's challenging, but this is like the first proper uh, level where you've got to think about things. All right, let's get that apple out of here, shall we? Now, we can actually do this with the plane. There we go. That's the gas on. Yeah, so there is a tank that we can drive down. And we can actually use that tank to push the eggs in, but, you know, if you're good at this game, you can just nudge them in with the plane. Now, I'm not exactly uh, the expert that I was. I would go as far as saying that at one point, I probably was pretty much an expert at this game. Those days are past, but we shall regain the mantle. I think... There's one egg that we can break. There is extra. Yeah, see, that's not working. That's not working. What even is our time here? Mission briefing. We've got 1 minute 45. That should be plenty of time. Right, let's see if we can just nudge you in. How's that looking? How's that looking? we set that thing up because you also have to wait for the eggs to start to boil there we go there we go beautifully done not perfect and we have created a fire hazard there as well but that will work it doesn't hurt to wait i'll make you pay for your offenses later will you will you indeed we'll see about that rings of fire 35 seconds Rings of fire. Now let's see what kind of pilot you are, if you dare. Put on your helmet and dash through these fiery rings. Race to be one of the top three finalists. Well, that's not good enough. We actually have to come in first. Now these races, these can be a challenge. These can be a big challenge. Generally, because if you're not 100% on what way you need to go. I mean, I know pretty much the routes. I have played them hundreds of thousands of times over the years. So, we should be good. Oh, yeah, look at that. See how that caught me out? Yeah, that's no good. We need to restart. See how that caught me out there? That's a hard turn. You have to slow right down and, and bank as hard as we possibly can. Right, let's try that again, boys. Oh, they screwed us over big time there. And we've missed the boost as well, but that's okay. Boosts in this game are a bit of a double-edged sword. They're not as helpful as you would think. Quite often, those boosts just fuck you over. Significantly, in some cases. There we go. That's what we wanted. We've only got a few seconds left. And, oh, look at that. Just so close and yet so far. Let's see what he says anyway if we come in second. So there you have it. Cyclone can talk as much as he likes, but you still finished this race. And best of all, you're among the top three. Yeah, but you're still a long way off from beating my record. Well, we're not exactly a long way off from beating your record. Look how quick these levels start. You know, everybody moans about emulation. But, man, emulation is the way forwards. It really is. 
I love these uh, old systems as much as anybody, but emulation, come on, man. Come on. Emulators is where it's at. Because this is the only way we get true game preservation as well. Let's not forget about that. Alright, come on. Let's handbrake this thing around. And slam that in the back of the net. 51 hanger. There we go. That'll do, Donkey. Bah, you won't always be this lucky. It's not luck, my friend. It's playing this game for years and years and years. So, Deep Sea Trap. This is probably one of my favorite levels. It looks like your supply boat is about to run into some serious trouble. With the submarines patrolling the area, use your radar to search and destroy the six enemy submarines. Aye, laddie. Okay. Oh, look at it, guy. It looks amazing. Okay. Now, this is one of my favorite planes as well. I love this thing. So we can go grab some fuel. And I do like the way the rings on the plane, uh, on the cooker, I should say, look like the rings of the Dreamcast, the Dreamcast swirl. So we've got some gun turrets in here. Now, the way power-ups in this game are dropped uh, is completely random. So bear that in mind. But we are going to grab some power-ups here. Power-ups make a colossal difference. So we're definitely going to be maximizing those where we can. Now, I'm pretty sure our boat is actually pretty good. He's good. He's safe. He's rolling along nicely. Now, we want to try and destroy these subs whilst they're still there. There we go. That boost almost got us killed. Prime example. Alright, we're going to sink that one. get rid of you. Oh, look at that. We've got another power-up. There we go. Max level missiles. That's what we are talking about. Now, that isn't just max level missiles. That's max level everything. So, our boat is trundling along quite nicely. Yep, the controls are definitely better with this controller. I mean, yeah, you can feel the, <laughs> the analog stick, like dead points and stuff. Ah, look, we've just missed our, our time there. But yeah, the, the dead zones and whatnot are still a little bit weird. But it's okay. It's not bad. Right, once more we're feeling. Let's do this. Hopefully we can get the power-ups early this time. Or should I say earlier? I think they take four missiles. They do. Look at that. Power up straight off the bat. Got you. Now, the actual radius for picking up power ups is fairly generous. And there's also a power up hidden away. But we don't need it. So. Let's go for three. Yep, three's the magic number. That's what we want. I guess we'll go for that as well, just because. That'll do. 13 rounds left. We can sink you. Down to 10 missiles. You're gone. You're gone. One left, and we got three missiles left. We can make the magic happen. Done and done. So what does that give us? Okay, I'll admit, your superiority just this once. But remember, you may have won the battle, but you haven't won the war. Yes. 
blow the bridge down. Oh, God. We can actually go and do Cyclone now, but we won't. We'll complete all the levels because, you know. My comrades are producing, uh, procuring a powerful new weapon capable of annihilating you in a split second. Lucky for you, they're waiting for reinforcements right now. It, but it won't be long. The convoy mustn't reach the base. Use the plane to destroy the gate so your supply truck can gain access to the enemy base. Then steal the secret bomb and blow the bridge. Mm-hmm. Oh, look at it. Look at it. Yeah, that actually will give you a bit of a run through um, on the actual level itself. And there's a cat that you can antagonize to. Uh, the cat doesn't really give many shits about you, so it's not really worth doing. Now the gate. We need to take out the gate. Let's go. There's the gate. The barrier of entry. We're going to take as many of these turrets as we can as well. There's a few. In fact, actually, I don't think there's that many at all. Right. Let's go. There's the convoy. Don't want no business from that thing. That thing is just 100% bad news. You know, Dreamcast textures are holding up surprisingly well here. They really are. Interestingly enough, actually. I didn't think they would. I didn't think they would hold up to this degree. Damn it. We need more talk. Come on. Come on. Oh, we also have access to save states. Not that I really think we're going to need them in this game, but we have them. They are there. Now, if I was a bomb, I guess I would be there. Nuke him, Rico! Now, I believe... There we go. Job done. I think we vaporized our truck in the process, but hey. Acceptable losses and all that. Wow, they give you 2 minutes 10 for that. Now, some of these time limits are actually quite tight, and some of them aren't. That's quite the example of them when they're not. At this rate, it won't be long till we meet face to face in a terrible duel. It will not be long, friend. It will not be long. So, air raid. This one is pretty intense. Your base will be history with my allies and their powerful bombers against you. I'd like to see you try and defend yourself. Take down the enemy bombers, but don't let them destroy your base. Remember, their weak spot is their hangar. Yep, so we're going to have to quickly pop in and raid. Ah, oh, listen to this fucking music. Listen to this fucking music. This is my favorite track in the game. So we actually start this here with uh, powered up bombs or powered up weapons, which is nice. We're just going to gun straight for the enemy. This is a bit of a risky maneuver, but when it works, it works. Oh, that music. Right. Hopefully. Yeah, we can knock that guy down. Right. Come on. There we go. He's history. And we destroy ourselves. That's why it's a risky maneuver. So, let's go. Doesn't matter. We're happy to lose vehicles if we need to. That's fine. Now, unfortunately, this Jeep is slower. But it is, you know, it has its uses. This is your mission. Right. Hey, we got a machine gun upgrade, too. Machine gun upgrade in this game is amazing. It's so important. And we got the max level missiles and stuff as well which is good good stuff we're done we can get out of here now unfortunately I believe we actually have to take out all the enemies I believe 
which is a problem. Let's see, what, what, how much time do we have? Three minutes. So without the help of our plane, we might be relying here on our defences doing the, doing the job. Which is a bit iffy. We also don't have any missiles left. Who's left in the air? Not sure if there's any enemy aircraft left, actually. Might all be on us. To take them out with this thing. Oh, wait. Nope, oh, they're coming back. Coming back for another pass. And I think it's just that one. So hopefully, if our air defences can shoot him down, we're good. Yep, we did it. Doesn't matter if you win by an inch or a mile. Winning's winning. Yeah, we still won by a solid 16 seconds. I can't stand it. Bring it on. Let's go. Yeah, all right. Let's do this thing. Here we are, face to face at last. Which one of us will be victorious? Do you really think you have a chance? Even with all those missiles, there's no way you can defeat me. We'll see. We shall see. Now, the trick with this guy is to just hit him hard. We've got 90 missiles. You're just going to want to hit him hard. Hit him in his weapons. Take that one off. Take that off. And he is... We're done. Is he done or... No. He did us in. I warned you, didn't I? You didn't really think you could beat the great cyclone, did you? Oh, but I do. I do, sir. Right. Let's try that again, shall we? Alright, there we go. Now we've got to hit him in the face. There we go. Get the fuck out of here, Cyclone. 14 seconds. Not bad. Yeah, and of course, there's no best time for the boss fight. Poor Cyclone is completely debunked. But he didn't really have the soul of a mutineer. In any case, let him join your side if he likes. Well, there we go, guys. That's the first uh, room done. Next, we're going to the children's bedrooms. I like that coming soon. If this was a modern game, that'd be DLC. Um, yeah, so when we come back, it's on to the children's bedrooms. And the game is only just getting started. So, thank you very much, guys. And as always, till next time.